I'm here with Sean Atwood, author of Hard Time. How do they smuggle drugs into prison? There's two main ways. It just takes one corrupt guard to really flood the place. Or oh, businesses bring them in, in smaller amounts. People outside of the prison will wrap them in cellophane, condoms, balloons, and they'll put them on their bodies or they'll bring a baby and the drugs will be in the diaper. And they'll take you to a medium security or a minimum security visit where they sat at the table with the prisoner. Some prisoners will purposefully distract the visitation officers. While they're distracted, the person with the drugs will take them out and pass them under the table to the prisoner and he will shove them in his behind. That's called keistering. The guys who specialise in this are called mules and they get paid a percentage of what they bring in. Because after every visit you're thoroughly strip searched, you've got to get completely naked in front of the guard. You've got to raise your man parts, turn around, bend over, spread your buttocks and cough. And the guard's looking right up your bum to see if there's any drugs stored in your anus. So these guys, I'm so deeply embedded that they don't peek out during these strip searches, these mules. And you see them walking back from visit all bandy-legged and you think they get busted just on that walk alone, but they don't. The prison's absolutely flooded with drugs. It's mostly heroin and crystal meth. How do they pay for drugs in prison? Well, you can pay for anything in prison using commissary items, stamps, honey buns. It used to be tobacco, but they're making tobacco illegal now in a lot of prisons. If it's a larger amount of money, because you're only allowed to spend 20 or $30 a week on commissary, if it's a larger amount of money, then it's paid street to street. And what that means is, the guy you buy your drugs off, your friends on the streets pay his friends on the streets. So he gives you the drugs within the prison system, but the money is transferred completely outside of the prison system, and that's why it's called street to street. Why do the guards allow all of these drugs in prison? It's a form of control. They know everybody's doing it. They allow it to happen. There was more drugs in the, in the prison than on the face of the earth. And, you know, they can sweat the people they know are doing drugs as a form of punishment, call them in to do P-tests and take away some of their privileges when they, pe when they test positive for these drugs. So, it's, again, it's a way to keep the, guard, the prisoners in control. And also, they're financially motivated because the corrupt guards bringing the drugs in get paid big money to do so. Gangs like the Aryan Brotherhood, Mexican Mafia, they find out where guards live, send women to seduce them and talk them into bringing drugs in. And if they're not making much money, it's a way they can supplement their incomes. So you've got the same guys smuggling the drugs in that are administering these P-tests and going through the motions. It's just a big contradiction. Nothing stops the drugs in prison. It's been going strong and it's always going to happen. Thank you.